So yesterday, I had How to Beast, uh, David Dolores Morenos, or Morenas, couldn't say his name, mistake, can't say today, uh, on the podcast. And we spoke about his YouTube journey and how he's what he's done and everything else. And one of the big things he said that he done is vlogging. If you watch the podcast, I said like that to me seems a bit embarrassing or intimidating. And he said, no, you got to do it. You got to speak to the camera. You got used to doing it. You got to do it in public places. I decided best thing to do would be to shoot a vlog for you guys to explain like the average day in my life because today is I didn't pick, select it. It's just the next day after he told me to do it. It just I got up. So 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 the kids out. They're off to school. I'm heading to the gym. I'll uh, take you through my day and see if you guys enjoy. It. Hey, we are doing back and glute today session. Personal training. Nice and easy, right? Easy session. Yeah. Easy as anything. Any day easy. It's always training hard. Your mind de determines your body. There you go. You're always telling me that you're mind body connection. So uh, we're gonna go for it. Chest. Yes. Up the chest. That's good. Squeeze. Yes. You feel it? Yeah, yeah, that's good. Squeeze. Chill down. Push. Yes. You finished? Angela was uh, nice to me. Yeah, they and the videos that we saw was only the first set and he made me do four sets for everything and then drop sets. It's all about trying to connect my mind to my muscle. So I lift with the correct muscle in the right form. Super tough, hard part of the day's over now. We'll move forward. I always try and finish off my sessions in the gym, not always, but I try as much as I can to get in the sauna. I try and do 20 minutes. You hear all these things about shock proteins and heat proteins and cold proteins and ice baths and whatever. So I always try and get in and do a little bit. From the fighting days, obviously, uh, I know the sauna well. From weight cutting, I've kind of shook off the uh, pain. And, uh, but yeah, so get at it, do a bit of sauna. We're coming to the end uh, of the timer. Sweaty as fuck, it's okay, the pain's over for the day. The physical tor torture is finished. Now uh, we can get on the rest of the day. So workout's done, it was horrible. It's always horrible. Uh, I used to be a professional athlete for 15 years of my life, so I know what it's like to push yourself and be hard. My last fight was three years in December. I started focusing on other things in my life, my family, you know, I've got two kids. Uh, and providing and making money and businesses and all that sort of stuff. And this is the excuse I used to give myself. Like, I used to be in the UFC, I used to have 8% body fat, I used to be the man, da 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 da. Like, my, my, and, I, and I kind of phased away from, from physical fitness and from training and all that sort of stuff. So currently, right now, uh, I'm at like 18% body fat. Uh, I'm out of shape, I'm not in the, you know, but I'm, I'm back on the horse. It's the priority for my day. But for the last three years, the priority has been money. So I wake up and I think about making money. All I care about is making money and I don't rest until I make some money. Um, now I'm I'm more prioritizing my health. It's like the most important thing to me. I put that first in the day and I push hard in that. Now, it would normally be about business. I have to go to my tailor to pick up a pair of trousers. And obviously I'm a giant, so I need tailored, tailored stuff. And these trousers, this tailor that I use in, in Malaga is amazing. So I'm gonna go see him. And uh, I've got a podcast today with a good friend of mine. On the road now, I've got to drive a bit, get to Malaga. Oh, first coffee of the day as well. Caffeine's important too. One thing you learn about living in Spain is you learn how to park your car. Hey, I'm here, bro. Okay. Hello. What's up? 
Okay, so we're here at Age Bespoke with Arturo. Hi, friends. A uh, good bit of advice about a tailor is you want to find a tailor that dresses like this. Thank you. Yeah, Thank young, you. fashionable, knows what he's doing, super, super helpful. First time I come here looking at suits, Arturo was wearing the specific pair of pants mm -hmm. and I wanted them. So I got them, it's like a month later. We're going to try them on now. This is it. I think for me to complete the style, I need to lose some weight. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh, when Christmas ends, not now. <laughs> <laughs> For a more sporty look, the two pleats here in the front, also the laces in navy blue with this metal touch to reinforce the laces to make up very special points. The two pockets with this knacker button in dark blue to make it also even, even more special. That's a, a favorite. That's a classic. <laughs> That's I have it. the same. It's a classic. What can I say? Trying to find a tailor's hard work. Most of them are like 50, 60, 70 years old. Been doing it their whole life. They don't know about the new styles. So I super recommend that. Trousers straight on. I'm gonna go quickly grab some food and head to head back to Marbella because we've got, we got a podcast and uh, I'm running a bit late, so on it. Running around all day, absolutely starving. One of the good things we have at Malibu is this market. So scratch that, market was rammed. I couldn't get any food that I wanted, so never been here before, but down side street, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I went in, just ordered the steak, uh, and went. And I'm really not a beer guy. Like, I couldn't care less about beer, but there's something about Malibu. That, that makes me want to order a can. Now, time to get back to Marbella. I have podcasts with Pavel Neruda. Uh, he's one of the owners of Octagon that I work for. He also has his own production company and loads of other stuff. Super cool guy, so I'm going to go meet him in Marbella now. I've got to drive, so let's get going. cafe right by my office. I come here every day, pretty much. Need a little quick nicotine break and a caffeine injection. Keep myself sharp for the interview. This will actually be my 20th podcast, so a bit of a new journey for me. Okay, so we're here in the studio, uh, the podcast studio, also technically kind of my office. So yeah, at the studio, I'll just introduce you to the guy that's responsible for all the work that we do and everything we do. This is Rockass. He runs the channel, um, does all the editing on the podcast and live mix and all the other stuff that I don't understand. And I just talk and he edits it and makes it look special. So this is the guy behind uh, the camera, if you want to call it that. And then we have the uh, studio, obviously, that you guys will probably know from the podcast. Um, obviously, just waiting now for Pavel to show up. Um, and then, yeah, then this is what it would look like. I'd call it backstage or behind the scenes or whatever. So this is all the equipment that we have to use. I've, I've got no idea what any of these buttons do. Hi, look. Sounded really right. Is this the only cigar allowed podcast in the world? I think you can. I <laughs> see the only place in the world where you can smoke cigars and do a podcast. Oh, I love it. So you brought your yeah, one. Yeah, I brought you one. This is the winning cigar of 2022. Okay, okay, okay. Dominican, I hope you will like it. Do so I got trained this today by a Dominican. Like he's in my mind, my personal trainer, and now I'm gonna smoke with Dominican. I don't know if yeah, it's like supplement. You oh. can like <laughs> supplement your training. What do you have? Uh, I have Mexico. Ah. Uh, it's more light, uh, this one. Oh, this is Pavel, Pavel yeah. Neruda. He's gonna be on the podcast. Today is the 20th podcast, which apparently makes you top 10% of podcasts in the world, because most people fail after like 19, or don't oh, even cool. make it. So, so congrats to that. <laughs> so we're there, we're there, we're there. Yeah, so take a seat, Thank you. take a seat. And, uh, in the book order, right? This you're in the book order. Of, uh, I'm in the red corner, right? it's my fucking house. You don't you're just used to it, right? <laughs> okay. So, yes. podcast done. Yeah, yeah. We just did a solid hour, hour 20, it was good. 
Yes, it was amazing. Like a lot of smoke around. Uh, it was at a certain moment. It was uh, podcast about you because I was so much interested about look. So but you can check it out on YouTube as well, uh, and everything's good. But we're finished now. I'm all done. Got to get on with some work. Do the boring, boring things before I go home. Finished the podcast with Val. I thought it was super good, super exciting. Talking about life, loads of things I didn't expect to talk about. And it got dark during it, about eight o'clock now uh, here in Marbella. I'm gonna drive home now, get back. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I wanted to show a different side to me, you know, doing the vlog. I was challenged to do it uh, by David, How to Beast. I did it. Next day, that's kind of something I think I'm good at and bad at is I just do things as quickly as possible when I come up with an idea or I think of something, I get it done. I don't, I'm not perfectionist, I don't worry about the little details. I just do it and then I clean it up and make it better bit by bit. And I, I think that, that can help other people. Some people will procrastinate and think. Same with the podcast, I decided I want to make a podcast and that, I've now done 20 episodes. Each episode is getting a little bit better, I think. Same with the content on YouTube. My first vlog, it's not the cleanest, it's not the most edited, it's not, I haven't thought it through. I cut my head off in a lot of the shots, I fucked up a lot. Um, but they'll get better and they'll get better and they'll get better if I make more. If you enjoyed this side of it, you liked seeing the like raw side of my life and the back end, please comment, say that you enjoyed it and maybe I'll make more, I'll make as many as I can. I've obviously done the, the more polished versions like Manchester, where I, I hire a proper videographer and they follow me around. Just me and my phone and, and you know, me talking to the camera. If you enjoyed it, let me know. Appreciate you guys watching. If I make another one, I'll see you soon.